This is the strangest Easter I've ever experienced. The shops are shut, the cathedrals closed, and indeed churches the length and breadth of England are shut, and that's unprecedented. Churches were open throughout the Second World War, and yet we are in unprecedented times in this country, as along with other nations, we're struggling with the impact of the coronavirus. And yet in spite of all the fear and anxiety, what I feel this Easter is a deep, profound hope. Just outside Exeter at West Point, where the county show normally meets, a new Nightingale Hospital. And indeed there are Nightingale Hospitals opening right across the country, coping with that influx of patients that the NHS is anticipating. Yet I was amazed when I saw on the news pictures of, that children have drawn in order to decorate these new hospitals. And the dominant image that the children have chosen, quite by chance, is that of the rainbow. And in the Bible, the rainbow is, above all else, the symbol of hope. In the book of Genesis, in the story of the flood with Noah and his ark, we're told that God set his bow in the clouds, his rainbow, and it was symbol of God's care for creation, his compassion and faithfulness. And yet, actually, we know what rainbows, what causes them, because it's when the white, the sunlight, is refracted through rain droplets and it scatters the white light into a myriad of colours, which is why rainbows are so beautiful, so captivating. In another sense, I feel that the rainbow actually responds to where we are at as a nation because I'm conscious that this Easter there are many people who are crying. People are sick, loved ones are sick, and some of them dangerously so. People have died and some people are particularly bereaved because, for public health reasons, they were not allowed to attend the funerals of their own dear ones. And that is unbelievably painful. And yet, through those tears also, what is coming through is love and care and compassion and being refracted into a multitude of goodwill in our communities. I've been so impressed by the avalanche of goodwill, people are responding to the national call for volunteers to help our health service at this time. People have been delivering medicines from pharmacies to neighbours who are housebound. They've been doing their shopping, they've been phoning them when they have been isolated and worried. And all these things speak of hope at a time of great national crisis. At Easter, we we'll read in the Bible that in the evening on Easter day, the disciples were so frightened that they barricaded themselves into an upper room. And yet, in spite of the locked doors, the risen Christ came and stood in their midst and greeted them and said, Peace be with you. We're in lockdown too. In our homes, we're frightened to go out in case we might catch something. And those fears are not unreasonable. And yet, in spite of our locked hearts, this Easter, Christ comes onto the inside of our lives and says, peace be with you. And so, on this Easter day, I too pray that the peace of the risen Christ may be with you in fullest measure. And may that give you hope.